Hi guys, welcome back for another video. Um, this is this is going to be a bit different tonight. Um, so if you're new here, and um, I've only, I've only put up two videos. Um, normally I talk about stammering, but tonight um, I'm going to do the travel tag. This is for anyone who loves travelling, who's a travel vlogger and yeah just anyone who likes travelling so that's why I'm doing it. The first question is what's the number one country on your bucket list? This is a hard one. Um, Um, if I could go anywhere, I'd say probably Fiji, like if I had the money and um, time and um, time to do it, um, I would go to Fiji because it's the furthest country from the UK, it's totally different culture to ours. And I'm, I'm just curious about it, so yeah, let's say Fiji. Um, which countries have I already visited? Uh, Germany, Belgium, Gibraltar, Spain, the Netherlands, Greece, Cyprus, Turkey, America, but I don't remember that because I was like really small. <laughs> um, I think that's it. Where's my favourite place to go? Um, that's a hard one again because <laughs> um, I went to Spain two years ago with my friends and that was really good. Um, Loved that actually, that was really nice. Um, so I'd probably go back there again. Um, but I also really liked when we went to Greece um, in July, that was really nice. Um, so yeah, I I'd probably go there as well. Um, who did I go away with? Um, I've only been on holiday with my friends once, um, that was to Spain and that was really good but um, usually well, I'll go abroad to see friends um, yeah I'd probably say friends again. Have I ever taken a trip to the Netherlands? Yes, I went to Amsterdam for my 21st last year um, with my friend and my mum with her friend because um, we needed guides so <laughs> they came with us and yeah that was really good. Um, we had a very relaxed holiday and yeah um i definitely go there again it's so good um i also really like seeing um Anne frank's house that was really interesting um but yeah definitely um i have taken a trip there um which country would i never go to um probably one where there was a war. Uh, I mean, I'm not. I'm not. I don't really want to go to somewhere where there was a war. So probably that that one. Um, what would I take with me on an uninhabited island? Um, a lot of books, so I wouldn't get too bored. Um, I love crime books, so 
take those. Um, yeah, I can't believe books. Um, what countries have I been to this year? Uh, I went to Greece in July, I went to Crete. Um, and in the new year, I went to Belgium, but I haven't been at, haven't been anywhere else this year, which is weird because I usually go away um more than once in the summer, but this year I haven't. So yeah, a bit odd. And that's it, because yeah, there are no more questions. I will see you guys tomorrow, or yeah, I think tomorrow, for another video. Bye! Hi guys, welcome back for another video. Um, before I get into this one, um, I just want to clear something up about the video that I uploaded tonight. Uploaded it on Thursday, um, called Life with a Stammer, and some people who watched it, um, said that I should say at the start that I have a stammer, um, because it was I think it was about a minute until I started talking. Um, now I could have edited that out, but. That's quite normal for people with stammers to, like, you know, it can be a minute or more before they, um, before they say anything. So I chose not to edit it out. Um, just because it can be that amount of time or even longer for them to say anything. Um, so yeah, this video is going to be about the misconceptions that people have about stammering. Um, haven't got haven't got a lot because, um, as I've said before, I don't know many people with a stammer, so I'm only going from what I've seen and sort of heard about. Um, so I think I've got two or three but we'll we'll get into them so one of the common ones is that people who have a stammer are nervous and I feel like this one kind of comes from an element of truth but it's not um it's not it's not the whole truth because everyone at some point in their lives will stammer like that's just a normal human thing like everyone has and will at some point um, stammer maybe because you're nervous or um, you're unsure of what to say or you you're trying to think of something to say that that's normal but for people who actually have a stammer um, it's not just stammering when they're nervous. Um, I don't know, people who, do, who, people who don't have a stammer um, may stammer when they're doing presentations or um, when they have to do public speaking, but for people who have their speech disorder, it's more than that and it affects every day of their lives, really. So people who, people who stammer aren't nervous. Um, as I've said before, this doesn't mean that they're not nervous necessarily, but stammering doesn't um,
someone's mood doesn't really affect how they stammer it might make it worse but it doesn't actually um cause it like it's not the cause of it so yeah that's that's one um another one is that which kind of ties in, ties into the first one actually um another one is that they're shy um i've kind of already answered this but um people with stammer aren't shy they just struggle with speaking it doesn't mean that they don't want to speak or that we've forgotten what to say or that they're necessarily nervous it means that they would just struggle to speak sometimes another one is that we've forgotten what to say which isn't true it's just that it takes longer to say what we need what we need to say than it would take other people sometimes obviously you know we all forget what we want to say but there's, there's a difference between forgetting what you want to say and not being able to say something like normally if somebody forgets what they want to say they'll usually say i can't remember what i was going to say whereas if someone's struggling to say something um okay i don't know all the visual like um how they look visually because obviously i've never seen that um but just from my experience um it's like your mouth's a barrier and no air can get through like that's how it feels i don't know how it looks though so <laughs> if someone wants to comment below and sort of tell me how it looks to them um then that would be helpful because i don't know um, if someone else can tell when somebody can't get their words out if they're not prolong prolonging a word or um, saying the same letter over and over again um, what else? oh another one is um that people who stammer have forgotten their name so like if somebody asks you asks, asks you what your name is um you, know, you can usually say your name like can you normally say it fine but for somebody who has a stammer that's really hard so people often assume that they've forgotten their name thankfully this has never happened to me um like I can eventually say my name even though it can take a while and no no one's ever been like oh you, you've forgotten your name no one's ever done that but it, I know that it, that can happen and that's something that people do seem to think which is a bit odd to be honest because <laughs> you know I don't know anyone who's like forgotten their name like that, that that's not like I don't know where that's come from really and I feel like it's just people who are a bit ignorant and don't really know what to do so they kind of just think that oh you've forgotten your name or what to say because they don't know any better um, I think that's it for the misconceptions that I can think of but I, I, I do just want to say that um, I feel like movies and tv shows don't help them as with most things um they're portrayed at least some movies are um they portray people as having a stammer when they're nervous so like maybe you've seen some characters um stammer when they're nervous 
So I feel like that kind of maintains the misconception that people who stammer are nervous when actually that's not the case. Okay, that, that's all of them that I can think of that I can think of at the moment. Um, if you know any more, comment below because I'm sure there's there's ones I've left out. Um, but that's the only ones that I can think of. And yeah, hope you enjoyed this. Like and subscribe because then you'll know exactly when I next upload a new video. And yeah, thanks for watching and I will see you at some point this week for another video. Bye!